Good evening, it's your girl, Yogi Lee, and this is what's happening on the block. In Detroit, a jury convicted a suburban Detroit homeowner of second degree murder and manslaughter in a case that involved him shooting and fatally wounding an unarmed woman on his front porch last November. Theodore Wafer claimed that he was afraid for his life and acted in self-defense. Renisha McBride, the victim, had crashed her vehicle and was reportedly intoxicated as she banged on Wafer's door looking for assistance. McBride was 19 years old at the time of her death. The maximum penalty for the indictment is life in prison. However, it is likely that he will serve a much shorter sentence. In Florida, a pastor refuses to hold funeral services for a deceased man after learning that he was gay. Reportedly, the congregation learned of the man's sexual preference only 24 hours before the ceremony was scheduled to take place. Pastor T.W. Jenkins received word from angry congregants who detested the idea of having a funeral in their church for the man because of his sexuality. Pastor Jenkins insists that because of his principles as a, quote, man of God, he would be in error to allow the service in his church. The family was able to have the funeral at the funeral home that handled the wake, despite being notified of the church's decision less than 24 hours before. what's happening on the block. Now back to the liveest cloud radio show on the planet. Straight from the E-Block Radio with Monk Money and Hood Howard Stern. <laughs> 